The budget speech is proudly brought to you by Chartered Accountants South Africa. A CASA can help your business take off and rise above your tax headache. Find a CASA tax advisor in your area. Go to findacasa.co.za. Fellow South Africans, we have all been reminded of the importance of infrastructure investment and maintenance over the past year. It is not just an inconvenience when the lights go out. There is a cost to the economy in production and income and jobs foregone. Many South Africans regularly experience other kinds of infrastructure failures. Unreliable water supplies, roads that are impassable when it rains, trains that break down, or poor telecommunications linkages. These are large, long-term, costly challenges. And so the work of Minister Peters, Minister Jumad Peterson, Minister Gwele, Minister Mokonyane, and Minister Patel in securing the maximum value of, I mean, out of available funds is essentially critical. We are able to make substantial contributions through the fiscals to infrastructure services over the, over the period. These honorable members include 1.1 billion rands for the upgrade of Moloto Road to improve safety and mobility on this road. <clears throat> the passenger rail agency's 53 billion rands 10-year renewal program is now in progress. The first 44 new trains, its train sets or 528 coaches will be delivered over the next three years. Over 80 billion rands for local roads and over 220 water and sanitation. <clears throat> 105 billion rands for housing and associated bulk infrastructure requirements. Minister Sisulu. Over 18 billion rands for 875,000 households to be connected to the grid or to receive off-grid electricity and 1.1 billion rands for broadband connectivity in government institutions and schools. I need to emphasize, Honorable Speaker, that not all infrastructure services qualify for budget funding. Cost recovery from users is a key foundation of infrastructure sustainability, together with fiscal support for access to essential services. I therefore wish to endorse the Deputy President's carefully balanced approach to resolving the Gauteng Freeway financing matter. Concerns regarding the socio-economic impact of toll tariffs have been heard, and the revised monthly ceilings will shortly be proposed. We will include a national contribution to meeting the associated costs and the adjustments appropriation later in the year. Measures will also be taken to ease compliance and to improve enforcement, but cost recovery from road users will continue to be the principal financing mechanism for major road users. <clears throat>